everyone. I hope you can join us this morning. We're just getting started. Pip and I are feeling a little bit rough today. We've overdone <laughs> our um, walking. <laughs> and I bumped my head. She bumped her head and she wasn't even drunk. So she came uh, out of the bathroom. Yeah. I punched her. So hopefully the lighting's a little bit better. We've been told by Paul that our lighting is a bit better. Um, so I think we, we should be okay. So we were obviously a few minutes early. So we're just going to have a look if everybody's joining us. So um, Paul, are you there? Uh, oh, hi, hi Gail. Gail. Hi, Hi Carly. Carly. Oh, it's really nice to see you, Carly, or hear from you. Um, it's really lovely to see you. We're, I'm still in Canada, as you can tell. And um, so we've been playing together for a while and we've come up with lots of different things. So, are we early? Are we early? Mm. Yeah, just about three minutes. Three minutes. So it's really lovely. But um, we're going to just uh, show what we're going to be doing today so that you all can have a little bit of a nosy. Oh, hi, Gail. So this is what we're going to be doing today. So nice and bright. I love so it. So hopefully this will cheer us all up. If you're having a gloomy day. It's a gloomy day here for sure outside. Yeah. So hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to show you how to do this today. Um, and um, I'm just going to wait for a few more people to join us because it's obviously a few minutes early. And I know a lot of you watch this up on catch up to follow the actual step-by-step um, -step tutorial. Um, so that's great. Um, so um, we'll be getting started shortly. Now we've already got our project lined up for next week, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. we sure do. I'm just bringing you up online here so I can... I can so me. we're going to be showing you um, some other ideas for next week as well so that you can prepared to follow a step-by-step -step with us um, so it's really nice now today um, I'm going to be doing the tutorial as Pip did last week's which she um, did um, some beautiful um, work and again very vibrant very bright um, and this week I'm going to be doing it and she's going to be my so yeah. if you've got any questions um, uh, with it so please go please go ahead um so then we can have a look at that um so please ask lots of questions um yeah, send questions i will be here and then we can take it from take it from there i'm just gonna put my phone over the other side of the room i'm trying to go to your live i can't get to it oh so everything is good um from our end so i'm gonna probably um start start um hello pat um start um showing you uh, maybe pip you want to show them what you're going to be doing next week you're I just sure trying to go and... show them what i'm going to be doing next week um i can show you some examples while we're waiting um of some other pages that um Oh, you're going to come. Thank you. Sorry, I'll come. I'm having technical difficulties this morning. <laughs> I'm having personal no, and, and, and allergies, bumps on my head, dealing with chat box over here. <laughs> so lots of different things. So next week, I'm going to keep it really simple and I'm going to be doing uh, some ATC cards. So the ones that I'm going to be doing are all inspired by nature. So just wooden embellishments that we're going to be using. And they're very, very simple, but very effective. And one more. So we're going to do a set of three. And I think we were going to post if anybody wanted a kit to craft Definitely. along today. And then we've had somebody else playing in our workshop with us. They've made some amazing ones. I just love this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? So it's creative. Very, very creative, very light bulb moment. Yeah. So. You could, I guess, have a choice of either of these kits. Yeah, you could I'm do. Sure we could try yeah, to we come could up find... with something. So we could similar. call one the nature kit and one the light bulb moment. The light bulb <laughs> moment. We all can do one of those. So these are just absolutely gorgeous. 
So I will be doing these next Tuesday at the same time, same place. And Dali will be my trusty assistant. So they have it. Three ATC cards. Because the backs, you've, we've got the stamp, doesn't it? That oh, yeah, because yeah. that's yeah. right. Dali makes a good point. Mm -hmm. I'll bring that stamp home. The back of the cards actually have um, the stamps. We have two different ones, don't we? We do. So um, I've just used the one. I know some of you may have this, mightn't they? Yeah, they might um, have these. And this basically allows lovely. you to put down your title uh, of your card, your name as an artist, the date you did it, the number, and the info about your ATC series. So we will have those. These are great for journaling as well, aren't they? They're absolutely brilliant for journaling. Because I like to write I was going to say, like why notes. wouldn't it? Yeah, I yeah. was thinking if you put that in a journal book or a junk journal, yeah, that would be brilliant. fantastic. Okay, I'm going to go back to the comments, see if I can't get on uh, the live chat so I can say hi to everybody, and I'll let Dali take over. Okay. Hi, Cindy. So I'm going to make a start. I know there's a few of you on online at the moment, and I know lots of you, like I say, watch it when it, while it's recorded and view it so we could see. So, But that's fine. That's okay with us as well. But anybody who wants to sort of craft along with us can do, and anybody who wants to watch this later can do because it will be recorded, and I will also post it to YouTube. So for any of those who are not on Facebook, um, you can let your friends know, and they can watch it on YouTube as well. So let me start. Hi, Cindy. Right. So today's project is all about a journal page. Now, I know Pip did a journal page for you as well. So it's, this is my take on it. Mine's a much, uh, I suppose, uh, a brighter one. And it's using alcohol pens and some of the stamps. This is a Pip Art stamp where um, flowers bloom, so does hope. And definitely it's a time of hope for us all. Um, so what I want to show you is, is the Kurotaki pens and also the stamp set and also some of these techniques that I've used in the background. And um, the stamps and the Kurotaki pens are on special. So you can actually get now for $24.99, you can get 12 pens, either the summer or the autumn set. And you can also get, so they look like beautiful, they all look like this, yeah, yippee. I'll be using all of those. Um, and you get three free Digi um, stamps. And I'll show you some of those which have been coloured with a Kurotaki. As you can see, that's one of the stamps you'll get. And that's been coloured. And that's also using the Bloom stamp there. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, the other stamp you'll get is this butterfly one, which again, I've used the Kurotaki to do that with. This is the summer colours. There we go. Some really beautiful. And this is the, uh, the same butterflies. So you can see how different they look. Um, and then that one. And then we've also got a flourish one as well. So you'll get three stamps, um, digi stamps that you can download instantly. And you'll also get the set of pens. So it's really nice to do with your children. It's really nice to do with your, with your friends. It's really nice just to do on your own as well. It's very, very relaxing. And I've also used those pens throughout this journal page. So let's get started. So if anybody's following me, just let me know. Um, and Pip will obviously help and then we can take it from there so let's just get started so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to find another page so i'm just going to find randomly in my book i'm going to put this down now in my book so let me i'm just going to put this down slightly so hopefully you won't lose the light too much sorry i just moved my computer so it shook a little bit is that uh so hopefully that's visible to everybody so all i've done is i've just taken a part of the book anywhere in the book really I and mean, i could even start where i was um and obviously as your book gets fatter and fatter you'll get more and more of a bend in it so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do to get started is i'm going to start you on the flower um because that's your main focal bit so pip oh, so okay. so oh thank you hun. So let's start first with the flowers. So let's see how I came about making these flowers. So let's start with that first. Okay. So the way the flowers have been made have all been handmade. So they've all been made. So let you can just move a few bits and pieces that way. Um, so in fact, I got my dad to make some yesterday. Look at that. So he's used the Kurotaki pens. So the easiest way to do the flowers for me 
is I just take either a ballpoint pen, just an inexpensive ballpoint pen, or you can take a Sharpie, a Sharpie. But please be aware that if you do take a Sharpie, that your Crotacky pens are alcohol based, and so is this. So you do need to use, maybe it is better to use a ballpoint for you. So I'm just going to use this. All I've done so that you know is I draw a circle. This is for the smaller flowers. And I just randomly, don't overthink it. I randomly just draw circles. So if you want to do it, remind you of a tooth. So you're just curling in and over, curling in and over, curling in and over, curling in and over. So it's as easy as that. Just practice and you'll get perfect. And then what I do is, you can do this afterwards, then I just do like, whether two or three lines. So very, very simple technique, very, 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 very effective. So all I'm doing is three simple lines. Then what I do is I take my pens. Oh, I'm so excited to share the pens. So we have a, a fine tip. Uh, these are Kurotaki pens by Zig. It's a very high quality. Um, great for anybody who likes alcohol ink pens and so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to put that in there so you can see we do two flowers for you so you can show you the difference these pens make so I'm going to do sort of random random colors um, so we've got two sets they are so vibrant I mean, they're just so beautiful. I don't know if you can see how vibrant they are. Okay. They are so, so lovely to work with. So this is how we go about doing the smaller flowers. So this is how I start them. Put some yellow into that. And can you see how lovely they are? Now, if you've got any, I've obviously got some ink on them, but if you've got anything on your pens, then you can just take them off and then do that. I should have... Um, heat dried my little ballpoint so there we go so there we go so we're getting nice um, nice effects there and then I'm gonna hmm, where shall I take so I might even take an orange so it doesn't matter what color you do these it's there's no rights and wrongs and they're all going to be different and then finally I'll take a bit of purple to this one so they're really quite vibrant colours. So I've got an autumn collection and a summer collection. So you can use either. And then you can really go back in again with your pen. And then just scribble in those lines again. You can double these up as flowers. What I mean by that is, there we go. So you can even go in again and start to double them up. So it's really, really up to you. Now the next stage... What I tend to do is I tend to take a ruler and I start to do a grid. It doesn't have to be the equal spaces or anything like that. And I just start to do a grid. Looking good, darling. Thank you, sweetheart. So just, just randomly do a grid. Doesn't matter how wide, don't overthink it. As I always say, just enjoy it. And this is something you can do with the children as well. And then you can either do diagonal lines or you can do lines across as well. You can do circles in this. You can do whatever you want. It's your, your piece of art. So if you want to, you can do more circles in that. It really doesn't matter. So and what's going to happen is, I mean, I've even gone to the point where I actually even write in these you could stamp in these you could layer them so let's do a few more this way just to give you ideas so all this is about so there we go so from there you could even write words in there love inspire hope dream so hi. hi so we've got that so that's where we get started now, what I then do is I go back in again, oops, throwing things around now, and I start colouring some of these boxes in randomly. Don't overthink it. I'm going to just show you. So you do that. So what happens then is you end up something like this. 
okay so let me just show you what I'm going to do with this bit is I'm just going to cut these out oh slow down oh I'm going too fast so let me cut this out I think it's because you're so close to me yeah that's easy yeah. <laughs> that's you. that's that's the that you see it so all I'm doing is just fussy cutting these out there we go so now can you see how lovely in fact I like in these flowers uh, these can look and these will go on to the pages I'm just going to do these two first and this is how I create my flat little flower for that big page now can you just see that look at that One place. Doo, 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 doo. very nice so that's just a start now you can go around the edges and I'm going to do this little one here now you're probably thinking why why would I color back now why would have done this on a bigger sheet um, and then what I would do is use those elements of that sheet to either stamp onto or to use as a background or like I've done on my other project which I'll show you in a second is to use them to just add more texture to the page so that's as easy as it gets now you could have done this on book pages you could have done this on anything that you like so here we go two beautiful little little stamps look oh, all handmade by me okay they're so cute the other thing you could do is use graph paper as well if you're somebody who doesn't want to draw lines you could use graph paper so that's that's where we get the little flowers from Woo. Now, you use the same concept for big flower. Round circle, tooth-like shapes, okay? However, with the big flower, what I did, and this is why I said you needed to colour the backgrounds, is what I do is I cut up the backgrounds. So don't be, don't be upset because you've got, it's just a piece of paper with bits on. And all I'm doing is just cutting that up. So I'm going to do a sort of collage on my flower okay so and also what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of the paper from the journal and i'm going to use some of that as well so let's take some of that so looking great sis. oh thank you yeah, looking lovely so nice and great oh it's made such a difference with those new bulbs yeah we call them um, pip hdmi um because she's our little technical guru here back in the uk we have paul but here we have pip so between them, they seem to come up with lots of solutions. So what I'm going to do is, is collage this. Now you can do this, you can either collage the page and draw over the top, or you can do it the other way around. It's really up to yourselves. Now I'm using the Pentart Express glue. I've just put mine into a little pot. And all I'm going to do is um, use a brush. And I'm just going to, don't, worry, don't overthink this again, just come in with it. And just stick some pages down and i love i love collage i think it's really nice and you can do this with fabric you can do this with whatever you like so i know that um i know kylie uses a lot of those um large stamps as well so these are lovely lovely technique for that as well so there's lots and lots of different ways we can do this so i'm just going to put some of these into here and again you know don't forget your leaves and again, don't worry if you've got lines in them. And it doesn't matter if you're going outside either. It's just a technique. I'm doing this for, I know I'm doing this fast. That's why the record is probably good. I think I have to slow down if anybody wants to follow. <laughs> there we go. So let's put this little bit here. So I've just taken a little bit of the paper. You could use music paper. You could use some of your scraps from your... Um, Stamperia pads, our digital papers. There's just so much that you could do. You could put this into your journal um, books. You could put this into your planners. This is your your piece of work. So let's just put very little bit of the Pentart Express sticks down it so easily. We do it in a tube and 80 mils. And then I'm going to use some of those other pieces that we've cut that I've done today. And here we go. So I love, I find this so therapeutic. <laughs> so just keep going. It takes a little bit of time to build your flower up because these are quite big flowers. And again, you could just color the flower like we've done and draw the lines in. I quite like, 
like this and just keep going at it until your your you feel you've got enough color in there or you've filled it up um, remember we're going to cut the flower so don't worry too much and i'm just going to do a little bit more not too much there we are i think i've got lots and lots of color going on in here now glue there i've got very little glue on my pen because um i want to make sure that it all dries quite quickly and you can over layer so don't worry about that okay so this is sort of where we're getting to with it and again i've i'll show you the one i started with because any of you who joined late can have a look so that's where that's the flower we're trying to get to so it's just there so i'm just showing you some of the techniques that i've used on this just to get to this flower we've already done the little flowers you saw those or well, slightly than those there we go let me just spot it so that gives you some idea of what we're doing you know i talked about the strips earlier well, this is where i use the strips here and that's why we do the coloring in the background and i've used the strips here are you warm enough i had to go get a no it's just a bit cold. cold i think you're a bit under the weather sis that's all it so. is so so we've got a little bit of color going on in there um if you want a bit more extra color we can go in and we can take a little bit more extra color so this is really just your piece of paper that you've been working with um add a little bit of color there so pretty. Um, it's pretty so that's it that's all we needed and i'm going to leave it at that for that bit and then what i'm going to do is obviously let it dry a little bit so it's reasonably dry um and then what i'm going to do is let's cover that is i'm going to come in with my little pen little pens big pens and i'm going to start to build around that doesn't matter if you go over the top i actually like this bleed onto the the papers and the fact that it all goes together so i'm going to do these two you see that is so nice and i just love this effect and I don't know why I like it so much, but I do. And again, you can do the same techniques with this flower, like I've already shown you on the other flowers, um, where you can just take in and just go go for it. There we go. So look, love it because you get all these different shades of colour, even on that. And even if you go over the book pages, and in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I actually like that effect is we get this darkness of the, the the different book pages so you're getting all these different colors and use the nibs and if you've got smaller areas and I, you know obviously i haven't let it dry or anything as usual you know dally does everything oh i've got to do it now um so and you can even take a different color inside as well if you wanted to so say if you wanted to take a bit of orange in there then you could you know take a little bit of orange so if you want one of your leaves to be you know well, i'm just making it really vibrant at the moment so you've got a couple of colors going on in there it really is your project you do what you want to do you do it the way you want to do it um there's no rights and wrongs as i always say to you there's definitely no rights and wrongs um and then you just carry on with that however you want to do it um, I think I'll take a little bit of purple in this. There we go. So you can see how that all works. And it's just random. It's no thinking about it. And obviously at home you would really take your time. Not like little Dally here. And again, I love the way the book pages or, you know, if you just got want to put flowers into this as well or whatever you want to do. You could be more strategic about it. There we go. Dally, are you... I know I use them a lot. They're alcohol based. They are alcohol based. Right? Yeah. They're blending, right? Yeah, they blend really, really well as well. So they're really nice because they've got a brush tip. Really nice if you're into calligraphy. Uh, really nice with the ballpoint as well. And you so. actually, I've noticed when you play around, you just play around on copy of paper, and they still blend on the copy. Of paper. They do. And they do. Really I mean, this is so thin. I can't tell you yeah. how much how thin this was, and still they're really, really good. Yeah. I like um, the fact that they don't bleed through. Yeah, so not much. not so much. Yeah. 
I mean, they're just so easy to work with. I mean, these are all, these. Are, if anybody saw these, these are all done on copy of paper. And all I've done is put them onto just black card. And so if they do bleed through, you can see that they're not too bad. This is just taking three colours and just rushing on the back over the top of the print. And then I drew two circles using some sellotape <laughs> outers. So this is with the red, if anybody didn't see that. So they are absolutely beautiful. And we have got a special on at $24.99 with the three stamps. There's a, all the Pip Art stamps are included, all the Deli Art stamps, um, collection, not all of them, the collections of them are included for $3.99. So, um, no. oh, sorry, that's Digi stamps, isn't it, are included. Right. Sorry, the Digi stamps are included, but the others are on for $3.99. So we've got to somewhere like this. Sorry. Yeah, Pip. I was just going to say, I'm sure if anybody in Canada wants you, you guys could spare a couple of kits off the Kurataki pens. Yes, we could. So if anybody in Canada would like them, we have definitely have the summer and the autumn kits available. Um, and Pip will definitely be able to um, drop those off or whatever you want to do. So I'm just scribbling in this, nothing major. And again, if you want to bring back your little bits and pieces, you can do. And this is just playing. And just taking this to the next level. If you've got a white pen, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's like a jelly roll pen. Yeah, it is right? a jelly roll pen. So if you want to, you Posco pen. pen. Um, even if you've got pencil crayons, you could do this effect. You could do this with. It really enhances it if you do both. So all I'm going to do is, I mean, is cut this out, and that will be your main focal point along with the stamp. So just a rough cut. In our other um, in room, we always have a clock behind us, so we always know what time <laughs> I is. I can tell you the time is up. What you're hinting at? Yes, 10.23. We're going on about 20 minutes, well, so, 23 minutes from 10. So, so this you is know, like... You're really uh, fast. You're not like me. You, you just go with it. I know, but I'm always I'm worried. <laughs> no, you don't. I yeah. always... You're much, much slower and much more tutor like whereas i just want to oh my god i want to do it now i want to do it now i want to finish it yeah i think i think i think it out i overthink it and i know a lot of our customers say that oh you know we overthink it and i at least i think i underthink it sometimes <laughs> no, 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 no. so i think between us we're um a good balance a good balance because we both do uh we bring something different or oh, there are some similarities there. Yeah. Um, that's not just our surname. <laughs> so let's just, I just don't want to take too long cutting and boring you. But this is just such, I mean, people will tell you, this is really inexpensive paper I'm using. So when you're actually journaling, um, and you know, you could do this on the back of an envelope. So you're junk journaling. You could have done this. This technique can be done with anything so you could if you're not good at drawing you could use some of our stamps or other stamps that are available out there so yeah let me show you where i've got to with that so there's your oh, wow. little flower now you can cut into this more so you can raise the petals or you can keep the petals however you want so it's a really really simple technique um to do that okay so even take it off this bit here. Okay. So it's nothing, nothing to write home about, but it is your flower, your take. Now, next thing we need to do, so we're going to keep all of these. We've got a few other bits here. Let's put those to the side. Let's see how we start on the back of the book now. Um, so, so can I just show you how it would work so you can see? Obviously, I've gone in a lot more on my flowers. I've worked on it. But that would become your focal point. So you can just see how that would work. So let's start off with the rest. Next thing I tend to do is I tend to just use a piece of card and I tend to stamp the stamps. Because I want everything ready that I'm going to put on my page. And that's exactly what I'm doing now, which is very rare that I have everything ready. So the stamps are absolutely beautiful where are your stamps so oh, here we are so it's where flowers bloom and so does hope and then you also have this wonderful sentiment wishing you a wonderful day so it's really nice and i'm just going to stamp one of them because i've already stamped them so you can line them up you could if you've got a stamping um 
platform, you can put them on a stamping platform. All I'm going to do is show you how easy they are to stamp. Okay, so I'm just using some Versify. Oh, I've got another stamp on there. Just realized that <laughs> yesterday. That's probably mine. I might have yeah. done that. I'm no, 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 it was definitely me. Um, and just onto some, you know, you can work on copier paper. I think it's really underrated. Yeah, Obviously. we do a lot on copy of paper, don't we? Yeah, we do a we do a lot of our printing on copy of paper. We do a lot of our um, samples on copy of paper. I don't. I think as long as you're matinating, copy of paper is actually really nice. I'm actually going to wipe the stamp. Oh my god, I'm wiping the stamp. Oh, well, which one do you need? No, I'm just wiping it. Oh, I'm actually okay. being good. Okay. So what I do then is don't worry, it's higgledy piggledy. That's the whole idea of journaling. And then what I do is I just cut that out. I mean, these stamps are just so lovely. And there you get it. Where? And you do all that where? And then the hope and bloom. So I've done the whole stamp. Okay. So they're all ready. They're all sitting. So we've got the big stamp. We've got the big flower. We've got the um, oh, sentiments stamped out. So we've got everything going for us. So now let's go back to page. Let's remind ourselves. Let's go. So let's start on a page. I know I'm going to show you some. Other, I have done another page, which we're going to be showing you sooner or later. So I'm going to start off with. I was going to think. Have you got a um like a dog clip? Are they called that? No, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, sorry, I don't know what they're called. I, call, I don't actually. Bulldog clip. Bulldog clip. Oh, See, it was a dog. It was some sort of dog. Um, I know. I'm we... about to give you some pretty colours to match your pretty book. Oh, thank you, sis. So, just because I've done so much in my book, and this sometimes happens. Is, are they big enough? Oops. Yeah, I think so. And I've put some layers into my book. I find these are. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, no, that'll be fine. Right. I just want to hold my pages down. I need a oh yeah, I've got a bigger one there, and then I'll hold that with the bigger one. Right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this on the bottom. It's just so that I've got a page flat. There we go. That's much easier for you to work with. For me it was fine. Right. Now what I start to do is this is where the fun happens. Now, this is random, so don't worry about it. So you're gonna roughly have your flower here. You're going to have little flowers, you know, da, da, da. then you're going to have where, hope, you know, whatever, hope, even there, and that. Okay, so that's where we're going with this. Let's go for it, kiddos. So, the first thing I did was I actually took the flower burst stencil, which I know we do have, um, and I'm sure Pip can get very, wants some in Canada, she can get hold of them. Now, what I did to create a really lovely background, and I'm just going to show you in one corner because obviously we need time to dry it and I don't want to be standing here drying. So I am using, oh sorry, I'm using the Pentart Heavy Body Gel. Now you can use the B gel paste, you can use a, a modelling paste. I love the look this gives and I'll try and show you that when I've done this bit. It's quite hard to see. So all I'm doing is using the spatula and I'm just going to do not too many, I'm just going to do a few and I'm not even as usual, not even gluing it down. And then I wonder how it moves. So I think we're really at the bottom of our little one, but that is more than enough for us to do this project. And I love the look this gives because it will be it will dry clear with a matte finish, and then you can throw product on top of this. Okay. So I don't want I don't want to do too much because I do also want this to dry when I'm working on the other side of the page. Okay. I just want you to see the effect. Okay, so that's that done. Wipe your spatula straight away. Put your lid back on your bottles because otherwise they will dry. And then I might have to ask my little assistant mm -hmm. to just take this and put this into. Absolutely. That's it. That's lovely. Thank I've you. used that. So thank you. Now, I don't know if you can see that, and you probably can a little bit. So you can see it's raised, it's drying and you'll get a little bit of an effect. Now if I quickly show you on the page I did, I should have showed you a little bit more detail earlier. Oh, this is magnetic and it's sticking to the metal. That's quite clever. Okay, 
Now, in the book, let me see if I can get to that page without actually destroying everything. There it is, there. Can you see? It's there, there, and there. And it's on both corners. So that's what I've done. Now she's shut the page because she's very, very clever. And she's probably smudged it a little bit, but that's okay. I don't worry about these things too much. So let's put this big one down again. Oh, it's magnetic, it clings to everything, but it's really clever. So if you've got a magnetic sheet and you've got this, this will not move anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly heat dry that. What did you use in the stencil? I missed that. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. I used the heavy um, body um, gel, the matte version. Okay, heavy body gel matte version. And that will dry? That will dry clear with a matte finish. Am I doing something wrong, sis? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it needs to be smashed down. There we go. So all I'm going to do is, I've got a little bit on this page because I moved my page. It's still going to be a little bit wet and a little bit tacky, so don't. I'm not too worried about that because obviously I want to get moving with my project. Okay, there as well. Okay, so that's where I've got to with that. Now what I do is I'm using these lovely, and I've used them so much as you know in all my projects. I'm using Lazors. I'm using the blue and the magenta, and I'm using the medium mist, which is lemon. Now you can use the fabric medium mist or this medium mist. Fabric medium mist is a little bit thicker. So really what you should be doing is protecting your surfaces a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of tissue on my computer, which I don't usually do. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a brush and let me just get some control for me. I'm going to take a um paintbrush and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to start to pour this down on the back of my page and don't worry too much where it's going okay and then randomly just randomly now can you see i'm going to see if i can show you that flower yeah perfect angle darling. is it okay yeah, perfectly, yeah. brilliant and, and you can see the magic is about to happen oh the magic is about to happen so can you see how those flowers now come to life on that page? And it's as simple as that. So I'm just going to add colours as I'm going along. There's no rights or wrongs on this. So let oh, me... it's so scary when you do that. There we go. So you can just either brush them down. So this is where you're going to get all your background colours coming in. And it's all done. It doesn't have to be. Obviously, you can do more on this page. You can do less. And I just, what I do is, I just go for it. Everybody knows that's my style. And all I'm doing is just spilling some of that, using a little bit of the paintbrush, and just making that background work for me. Okay. So each time it's going to be different. Each time you're going to get a different, different effect. Now you could water the paints you could use you know there's so many other things that you could be using i am loving that heavy body gel it's I, lovely I, I really it's really showing up oh wow on the camera i'm really actually quite shocked that's really cool yeah so it's a really nice effect isn't it so we just i'm just i'm not going to do overdo this page and i love the way it works here and then you could even come in with your waxes just a little bit of pink here um, love the Lazorus too. We've yeah. really fallen in love with them. Yeah, we have, haven't we? We just like, oh my god, I want a Lazor for my mom. So these are all just different effects that you can create. Each page will be different, and I'm just giving you a little bit of a hint of what it could be like. 
So what I tend to do is, while my brush is still wet, I take all my little pieces of the sentiments and I just a little drop onto my little page, uh, page, my little craft mat. And these are also very thin. They're great for staining. They're great for creating effects. Great for doing edges on. Can you see that? How easy that was. And I love the way you can just pick those up and just go in. Nope. Is there anything else running on your laptop? Is it just your windows open? Uh, I don't have anything else, no. Nothing at all today. I've got, I've got some email things to come through, but that's because <laughs> my email is closed. That's because you are so popular. You are. So I've got this kind of, so a little bit of this. Now, the per, this is quite nice. And the Zools make so many different colors because they are just so, so all I'm doing, now we might want to put a little bit of yellow into this as well. So what I'm going to do, now you could have printed these onto the, the um, actual uh, papers. You could have printed these onto, um, you could have actually printed them onto any, anything that you wanted to really, um, onto the, the actual, um, what I'm trying to say is onto the reading pages as well. So you, you can tear a page out of the book, which is what I tend to do. I need a little bit more because it's making a bit of a green at the moment because I've got a dirty brush. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip. This is very Dali style. I'm just put a little bit of pink into that. Anything that you've got left over on your sheet, just bring that in. A bit more yellow. So just using a very little bit. I hope you can see this because I'm only using a very little bit. I think. Um, so I'm just going to use the edge of this as well to show you if you have difficulty in trying to make it really nice with the edges with a brush, you can actually use the edges of this. And again, I'm just putting that down. I'm going to spill a little bit on that. So I can pick some up on that. A little bit more of that. And then I can spill. That's it. It's not difficult. It's really simple. I might have a little bit more pink in some of the other ones. So what I'm going to do is splodge it a little bit. And just take it randomly onto and then just smudge it in see what i mean so it's just really you could even you know use the pens to color this in you could use any of the techniques now then what happens is is these start getting layered on where um the flowers so the reason why i'm doing this bloom so just hope so you can just see how see now if you don't do it you get this white one like this Random. <laughs> he got left Boring. out. Boring. Boring. He got left out. Um. And he just stands out like a sore thumb. Bless him. He doesn't match to anything. Oh. So, so that's where I've got to with that. So what I tend to do is I tend to put my words down. So can you see how that page is now coming together? Okay. But don't forget you've got this beautiful big one here as well. Got a little bit of stuff going on there. And you've got all your the little ones we did earlier. So I might just do that. So that's how that page is already looking. I'm hoping that looks okay. And then start to build on top of that. So there we do that. We can add more flowers. We can you can do whatever you want really. You've got those embellishments. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of the Pentile Express glue. You know, and I'm doing this pretty quickly. And then what I do is I go over the top as well, just seal it in. And then you've got that as well. So I'm hoping that's looking nice and bright and colourful, cheering you up today. And the way I'm covering it again with the Pentile Express glue is, is that if you do want to throw anything at this, which Dali always does, you can do. So this is um, just going all the way. So blooming away here. Blooming away. Blooming away. These flowers are blooming away. And you could put more flowers, less flowers. You could do a bigger flowers. You could do two flowers. You can do whatever your heart desires. Playing. Playing. That's what it's all about, just playing. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this down. There we go. So I'm hoping you're enjoying this much as I am creating it and do please watch do subscribe to our YouTube channel 
there's anything or any questions for, please do not hesitate to personal message either Pip or me. We're on Pip Art and Dali Art Market and friends. So just go for it. There's no perfection. It's just fun. Fun and happiness. Now you could put a picture in this, you could put a photograph in this. It's really up to yourselves. I just thought these words really grasped what's going on in our lives today. So I've done this on quite hard card now, saying all about copy of paper. Um, so there we go. So that's your easily done, easily been. Obviously, you let everything dry. So let's put these flowers in as well. Let's put one here. As you can see, there we go. Now look how nice they look. Now these were the ones I made right at the beginning. And we didn't overthink about it. This is all about creating something from nothing. So you've got a book, you've got a stamp, you've got some pens. So really, about everybody has some of this in their stash. If they don't, then you know where to get it. So there we go. So that's that flower done. So I'm going to put this flower in now. So this is a little bit bigger. Now you could raise this flower, you could keep it the way it is. Cindy says beautiful colours. Oh, thank you. They're very random, I have to say. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this sort of here so I don't lose any of my flowers. And there we go. So that just goes in there. Now what I would do is, obviously you have to dry a little bit. And then what we do is, let's give that a quick dry so can you see where we've got to oh, let me just put some little bit of glue on this one these things want to lift as you can see just going fingers if i'm lifting it's still wet that's the other reason there we go so i think anyway you think it's lifting just go in a little bit under the little stem here I'm just saying just a little bit, I'm using my fingers now as my glue stick. I like that because it means that I can have a good feel of where it's all going. I don't recommend it, but I like it. I'm just using my baby wipe to wipe the excess. It's not a problem. Nothing's coming off. So you can see how good these are once everything's drying. Nothing's going to lift in your journal. Okay, so that's where we've got to with that bit. And you can see it's a slightly different page to where we did the other one, but it's still very vibrant, very interesting page. There we go. Just to show you where we're getting to. Like we always say, we'll finish it, we'll post comments for it afterwards as well. So within the Kurataki, I think it's in the autumn set, you even get a black, which is very rare. And it's a beautiful black. And what I tend to do is I just go around my work with the black um, Kurataki pen. Obviously, wait for the glue to dry because that's not really good, good on your pens. But wanted to show you that it is so lovely with these brush nibs there we go and all i'm doing is just going around those just to give it a little bit more pizzazz it's a big word for me there we go so we're getting there we're nearly at the end of our project because i think it's important oh, i don't know what that is is that something reverse sync It's our bin men. Everything's happening. The phone's going off. The bin, bin men outside. Huh? Whose phone's going off? Not mine. No, the house phone. It says everything's happening now. So all I'm doing is it's very rough. I don't want it to be perfect. So we're just going round. And obviously you can lift the leaves. 
I just find that this all brings it again to back to that it's all about now you could do some more sipping in the background you could do you know other things and again you could do so much and again it's really up to yourself what you want to do how you want to do it and all of that so I hope it all looks good for you from there and then just I'm going with a little bit of white and what I tend to do is just go around the edges again just to pop it and again you can do this however you wish I'm not even thinking about it I'm just doing scribbles really that's very much me and my style and so and again I think what happens is is you just break break it all down and you just go into it so cindy has a really good question can i use the light modeling paints with stencil will it give them the same effect it will give the same effect however with the modeling paste it will stay white as this becomes more translucent and you see more color so you went with the color underneath and then you did the mod, uh, the heavy body gel so it picked up the colors underneath you can do it that way i actually did it straight onto the page on this occasion but you can do it that way oh, okay. because this is translucent no matter which way you which do way it. you do it so it's going to pick up more color um but it's very similar and with the gloss one you could actually get a gloss finish so it really is up to you the sort of finish but yes yeah, definitely try it with the modeling light you know whatever you've got in your stack so I recommend the, it. With the modelling light, you're going to get um, an opaque look. Yeah. So the Lazor won't have a translucent, if you will, look to it. It'll have a more mm -hmm. sitting on top. Exactly, the exactly Lazor that. On top of it. Exactly that. So and that's what then that's what happens to it. So I've sort of got to. I'm going to just show you where I've got to because obviously we're always busy with time. I mean, I haven't quite finished it. I don't know how that looks to you, but that's where we've got to. So it's quite, it is really rainbow colourful and it was supposed to be bright. And I'll finish it off and then I'll show you because I need to put these pages down and I need to finish the edges off. And what I also went in with was, was one of the glue pens. And then I started to pick up some more colours here in the flowers. So it will look really like a pop of colour. And then you can carry on. I'll probably add more flowers to it. Um, you know, you've got these flowers here, so you could add them into those. So can you see sort of see where I'm going with that? Now, I don't know how that looks, Nick, but I'm going to sort of stop there because obviously I can carry on forever. And let's see if I can show you that bit closer. A bit closer, closer. There we go. So hopefully you can see that's what a start I've made on it. So obviously you can take your time at home and finish this off. And obviously this is uh, this has been finished. We've had more splashes on it. We've put some white paint onto it. So each time you do it, it will be a different color. It will be a different flower. It'll be maybe a different sentiment. So I'm hoping that you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And I'll finish this off and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Uh, it will slightly look, always look slightly different because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take white primer and a white whiten this back. Yeah. I'm going to add some more brown to the edges, so just to bring it all together a little bit more. But in essence, um, what is going to happen is is going to, you're going to see much more of a blend. But that's all I've done there. It's just gone over. I'm going to put some more of the the we talked about putting the stripes in of the papers. I'm going to put some more add more stripes in. And that's it really that's where you know where flowers bloom so does hope and hopefully this has given you some some inspiration um uh, it's given some thoughts on how to capture the lasers and the mediumists the, the pens create your own flowers so there's a lot going on on the page and you can use this in any of your journaling techniques use it on any of your junk mail techniques um uh, use it into your planners so it's just one one part of inspiration i love it i think my takeaway watching you do that day, because i wasn't really when you created that page no busy working on my stuff i think my takeaway is i love how you collage 
flower. Yeah. I love that. And that heavy gel, I'm just like itching now. Yeah. <laughs> <that> take? <laughs> I know, it's always really difficult. Um, um, I love those too. And of course, my Christmas. Uh, so what, what I wanted to show you is, is I've also created another page which I'll be sharing with you I forgot how to do it now but I'll be sharing with you in a couple of weeks time as well so we'll let you know again you need your book you need some acrylic paints and we'll be sharing but we're not going to be doing that next week because we're going to be doing some beautiful ATCs so I'm going to let finish that project off and give yep. that a play I got put a sweater on. I was just frozen in here. I think I'm under the weather today. Um, it's just so gloomy out there, isn't it? Yeah, I, mean, I have... like it when the sun shines. I yeah. think I get that funny happening when the sun's not shining. So great job! Thank you, sis. You did Thank you. Oh, and look what they've done with my. Um, yeah, this was my desk organizer that I made with my papers. This is where they now store the curity pens. Which is okay. I don't mind. <laughs> They're not color coordinated like no. I have them. Uh, they would be. They were, but I've been you know. on. Okay, there you go. So next you. week, I'm just going to close the Lazor bottles because I'll probably knock them over. Next week, it's all about um, little works and mini media art. This is so cute. Little um, mixed media art. Yeah, I loved this. It wasn't created by me. I just absolutely love this. It's got like a sheet of acetate on, on the bulbs and like I don't know that that's the um galaxy flakes. I know lots of you got galaxy flakes at home, but I don't even see that. Those are galaxy flakes um down there behind there. Nice. I just love them. Yeah, they are really nice. And then the ones I'm going to be doing are all nature inspired. It's very really simple easy cars it's cutting out isn't it yeah a bit. And, and we have another one there these are really simple just I love any these little. you did these the day Thank that you. absolutely fell in with them i love the colors and you use some of the pens these some... are all kurataki pens on here i don't know if you can see like uh these little round gems they're actually just those clear stones and what i did actually i actually colored them in um with the kurataki pens so it's really neat so i was able to introduce the kurataki colors in all of my work it's similar i love the background so, so them. i think what we'll do uh, especially for everybody local here because i could just do the delivery if you want to follow along with making some mini art and artist trading cards we need to start an artist trading card group and make little yeah. arts from our scraps and start trading them um we'll put some kits together, try and get that posted today, get the delivery out so that you can join us and craft along next week. Because usually when I do my craft along, I go really slow. I <laughs> Probably don't. a little bit I'm more sorry. easy to follow. No, don't be sorry. Yeah. That's just your style. That's just the way you roll. Yeah. But um, that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed. I hope we answered all your questions that you had. Thank you. Um, Brett, Watching. look forward to next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Terry, your favorite colors. I know, Terry, this is just for you. These are your favorite colors. <laughs> she loves purple. Terry she? does, yeah. Okay. Lingo. And what's Paul saying? Chucking it down and cooling down a lot, too. We're just cold here. It's yeah, just, it's a bit cold today. We're overcast feeling a little bit cold. under the weather. And I think we're a bit, we've been mm. overdoing it with hikes. Yeah. Yesterday, um, the day before we went for a hike, we were really excited. We were two and a half hours, um, and we went really, really high. And two and a half hours later, we come home, and the next day we decided we were going to reverse the hike. Um, well, when you go the reverse, there's actually warning signs, and people have written notes as of the day before that they saw a bear with its cubs and to beware. And then Dad, I have a horrible fear of snakes. Just like anything that even moves, like even a belt on the floor. Oh, it scares a bejeebies out of me. And then there are warning signs from the city of West Cologne, rattlesnakes. And mm. we I've never seen her run so, <laughs> so I'm going to do some crafting now. Um, Dad's like, oh, come on, nothing will happen, nothing will happen. And no, we, so we actually 
we ended up walking back. We still got an hour in. But I think maybe that was a good thing because I think we're feeling a bit run down. But anyway, so if you're doing hikes and you're out there everywhere, because I know Kelowna, we're like rattlesnake country out here, and the bears are out and they're looking for the food. But that's about it for us. Yes, yeah. We're going to go and have some um, brunch. Yep. And some brunch. We want to thank everybody who joined us. We've had a lovely time as usual, or I have anyway, creating. And uh, oh, she's sneezing now. Cold. I had a little bit of one last week when we all came. So we would just say a big thank you and a bye bye. Stay safe, be happy. Hoping things are going back to normal, yeah. whatever normal is. And we love you. And we love you. And we look forward to next tuning week. in with you guys next Tuesday. Same time, same place, same table. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. Try and switch you off. <laughs> bye bye. Time to blow my nose. No. Oh.